everyone welcome back to my channel sorry about the beanie but I still have the cornrows in and I haven't been um, wearing like the bandana over my head at night and so they're pretty messy cornrows which I didn't think they looked great in the first place well not that they weren't done properly because my son's girlfriend she did a good job I just don't think I look great in cornrows but as I've explained since I can't brush my own hair right now and remove hair ties and stuff it was the easiest option where I could keep it in place it doesn't get ratted and um, I don't have to worry about all that so anyway they look kind of like messy right now because I've been sleeping without anything over my hair so I'm rocking this hat right now my little pink Nike hat so I don't know I still look a mess but at least it's not like frizzy cornrows <laughs> I don't know anyway today I was gonna tell you guys what happened to my Netflix so I know that doesn't sound too exciting right so let me back up and kind of like give you some backstory on why my thinking was what it was. So my grandmother is, she has turned 89. She is 89 years old. She is very old. She is electronically challenged. So if it comes to like things electronic, like even sometimes just turning on and off the TV, can be a challenge for her she gets like confused with the remote has all the buttons on it like I don't know she's just electronically challenged so in our house we don't have cable we have like the Amazon fire sticks and when she goes and visits my mom my mom doesn't even have TV um, she uses Netflix too but she'll use it through either her laptop not her laptop her desktop or through like her little tablet or whatever. So when my grandma is at my mom's house and wants to watch things on TV, they'll like put her at the computer and get the Netflix on and like start a show for her. And you know how Netflix like will just continue playing, but every once in a while, Netflix will stop if you've been playing the same show over and over and be like, are you still here? And then that's when she'll get confused and I don't even know how she does it. She'll just start clicking stuff. And so on whatever electronic she's using, like on my mom's computer, she's just like started clicking stuff and then had the desktop rearranged in a way that my mom didn't even know how to arrange that way. If she tried, doesn't know how to unarrange that way. Like how does this woman do this? How does she go on and do things that we can't even figure out how to do if we're trying. So I'm not sure how she does that, but it's one of those situations where like she'll get in and she's always like, I didn't touch anything. Like, you know, like she didn't touch any buttons, but you were the only one on this. It had to have been you. Um, so it's like endless frustration, but also kind of funny, like the thing she does with electronics. So like I said, here at our house, um, we just have the fire stick that plugs into the TV and she likes to watch Blue Bloods like over and over and over. It's her favorite thing. Like so the last few months that's what she's been watching a lot of and sometimes she's supposed to come get me if it like pops up with the like are you still watching or any other message she's supposed to come get me but she doesn't always sometimes she tries to figure it out herself then she gets frustrated and says I messed up my tv and turns it off and then I come in and it's usually just something little and stupid um I fix it and she can continue on watching her show well it was about two weeks ago one of my kids tells me I don't know what's wrong but grandma's Netflix, it's all like in Spanish or something, you know, because um, if you have Netflix, it has like the different rows of categories like um, continue watching, recommended because you were watching, you know, comedy, horror, whatever, like the different categories. Well, above all her categories were written things and like we originally assumed that it was Spanish. And I'm like, great, whatever. I told her, you'll just have to deal with it. If we can't find, like, I don't even know how you did this because I don't even know how to go in and change that. So I don't know what you pressed. She insisted. I didn't press anything. 
but she's insisted that before. So of course, like in my head, I'm like, yes, you did press something. I'm not even going to argue with you about it, but it's going to have to stay in Spanish on your thing. If we can't find your programs because of it, then we'll just have to click on whatever looks good. And that's what it is. So that was working on hers for a couple days. And we don't go in like every day and watch Netflix. So like, whatever. Then, um, my son, he watches the Netflix because he doesn't have a fire stick through an old cell phone I have and he plugs in like the HDMI cord to the back and like streams it from the phone through to the TV. So um, probably a couple days after that, he wanted to watch Netflix on his thing. And he's like, Mom, this is all in a different language. And I'm like, oh, great. So it wasn't just her she changed. She changed the, all the Netflix account. Like, we can't understand this. I'm like, well, if you see what the show you want to watch, just click on it. It should be fine. And not only was his, like, because on hers, the TV show she was watching, it was still speaking in English. He, like, saw Men in Black and selected Men in Black. And it was, like, dubbed over in a totally different language he couldn't understand. And then had subtitles in some other language. And so it was totally confusing. I'm like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. So like, I know that I can't like change it through the settings on the online app or if I can, like whatever, I'm not advanced enough. I knew that I had to go on the computer and try and figure this out. So I like log into my account and we used to have like four profiles, like cause you can set up different user profiles and they all had our names and at this point, I'm thinking, I don't even know how she did this. Not only did she change the language, it's dubbed over in different languages. There's closed caption in a different language. And now I'm like looking through this, like I can't figure out what to click because then I realize this can't be Spanish because like I'm clicking on things and I don't recognize any words. And I grew up, my stepdad is Mexican and I grew up around at least like some Spanish words. So like I can look at things and I can recognize a little bit of stuff, but nothing like this totally like made no sense. None of the words like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how she did this. So I actually, um, had to, um, go in to YouTube because YouTube's great. You can find anything. I, YouTube is like the video Google of the world. Well, they're owned by Google, right? Anyway, so you can find anything on YouTube. It visually showed me, like, cause then I watched the guy, like, even though he was in English when he was doing it, like I watched where he went and I was able to go into the settings, go down to the right one. And then I realized that my Netflix had been set to Portuguese. I'm like, okay, so I set it back to English and then it's still um, doing like the, um, like and it quit speaking in, I guess it was Portuguese that it was dubbed with. Sorry about that. Again, I record on my phone, so sometimes I get calls or whatever and it kicks me out. So anyway, where was I? It, well, okay, Portuguese. So I was able to switch the language back to English. So the um, videos, when you watch them, we were able to like sign out of all our accounts and then, um, sign back in well here this is where it gets tricky when I went to sign back in like because we just stay logged in for a really long time but to get this to reset I had to like log out it didn't want to reset like for some reason on some of the devices so when we logged out of the Netflix like I've had the same password forever in this particular like Netflix account because I've had it over 10 years it's um, associated with an email that I don't use for anything. Netflix is the only thing I use it for and I've had the same password forever. And so I don't think, I never log into the email because it's automatically debited from my account. I just never really think about that email. But I couldn't figure out like, why is my password not working? I know it was this password. I feel like I'm going crazy. So then I request a password reset. So when you do that, all it does is it like sends to that email something where you click on it and then you type in your new passwords. And apparently at the bottom, there's also, which I wasn't paying attention, a little box that you can click saying kick out, like basically, I forget how it's worded, but kick out 
everyone that's logged in under the old password so that everyone has to sign back in. But I didn't click that box. I just like changed the password, moved on. Like, I don't know how I forgot my password because it should have been the same, but whatever. So then I get everyone logged back in and then the subtitles are still going across the screen in a different language and I'm assuming it's like Portuguese which is irritating to like just be watching a different language scroll across so then I had to watch another YouTube video on how to go in and change it so that there's no closed caption like subtitles and so I figured that out and I had everything straightened out everything seemed cool we were all watching our Netflix in English the titles were in English and there was no closed caption subtitles in any languages on the program woohoo I got it fixed or so I thought and then the next night um because I had started watching Stranger Things too so I watched a couple episodes that night then the next night I um got my fire stick went to my Netflix app Stranger Things and I'm like, wait, above like all the little categories again is in Portuguese. Why is this in Portuguese? What did I do wrong that it defaulted back to Portuguese? And then there's the damn subtitles again. And um says they're in Brazilian. So then I have to go on the computer, have to change it out, reset, and I hit save. Needless to say, this goes on every night for the last two weeks. Or it went on every night for two weeks because it ended like three days ago. But like literally it went on like every night for two weeks. And it, the, after the two weeks, I am so frustrated with this. I'm like, okay, at this point, whatever she did, she did. But I have to be doing something wrong with this. I mean, there has to be something wrong. I'm not hitting save properly because every night is defaulting back to Portuguese as the title headers for all the shows. And then the closed caption is in Portuguese. Although luckily the shows weren't dubbed over in Portuguese so we could hear them in English, but it's still totally irritating because it's hard to search when you don't know the language. And I know the pictures are there, but that's frustrating. I shouldn't have to read Portuguese to like get on my Netflix, right? So at this point, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I go back and I reset it to all the things. And then I see like at the bottom of the Netflix thing, contact. And there's an um, option to like do live chat. So then I message them. I'm like, look, somehow our Netflix was accidentally changed to um, be in... Portuguese with Brazilian subtitles at one point it was dubbed over in Portuguese but I watched a YouTube video I thought I fixed it but every night it resets what am I doing wrong I am going crazy I can't have to reset this every night you have to be able to tell me a fix where it will stay in English I don't speech speak Portuguese like I need it to stay in English or I'm gonna go crazy so the person's like okay hold on just one second I'm gonna see what's going on and then he comes back and he tells me, okay, so I found the problem. There's someone in Brazil who's logging into your account who's been watching your Netflix. So every night when you get done watching it in English, they go and they switch it back to Portuguese. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? So someone's hacked my account and then they're like, hang on. So they look and they're like, there hasn't been a breach on our side. So you need to go in to Google and type, has my email been compromised? Click the first link and then type in your email and it will tell you if your email's been hacked. And then you can be 100% sure that it was you and not us because we know it wasn't us. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I wasn't like completely concerned if this particular email was hacked because like I said, I don't use, the only thing that it was attached to, and I should have changed it a long time ago, was my Netflix. But I type it in and it said that yes, my email was compromised two times. So I'm like, great, okay. It says my email's compromised. I'm like, what can we do? So the guy, he sent me a password reset. So I reset my password. I made sure to click the box that everyone had to log out. He blocked people from Brazil. So hopefully I never go on vacation in Brazil and want to watch my Netflix because supposedly he blocked it so people in Brazil can't watch my Netflix. And um, then he helped me change my email so it's a 
to another email and I've deleted like my old Gmail account because I just don't want anything to do with this. So this whole time I like was blaming my grandma and telling her, no, I don't know what you hit, but you made everything go to Portuguese. I don't know how you know how to do this stuff. And I like was blaming her every time and then feeling like I was going crazy and clicking something wrong. And this whole time, someone from Brazil was hacking me. <laughs> and now looking back, that's why I had to reset my password because once they got into the email and then they scroll through, ooh, this person has Netflix, password reset, sends it to the email they hacked, not type in new password. And they didn't make it so that it was reset so people had to log out. So like, I don't even know like, if they had been watching it longer while it was in English and then they realized they could change it or if I noticed it right after they first hacked it, I'm not really sure how long they'd been watching it. In. But I do know they were watching it at least for two weeks in their language of Portuguese. And that I felt like I was going completely crazy, but now the problem should be fixed. And it's been three days where I've logged into my Netflix and it's not in Portuguese. There's no titles. I don't feel like I'm going crazy anymore. And like I said, I deleted the email that was associated with that, put it on another. And then I checked all of the other emails because I have several emails I use and all of them say they have not been compromised, but I've changed all my passwords in case. But like, how crazy is that? That someone could just like hack into my email, change my Netflix password, and then drive me crazy and have me blaming my grandma for being like super technological and changing something by accident that I have to Google a video on how to change back. So I did go and I did apologize to my grandma. I'm like, I owe you an apology. I said, this time you didn't do it. Someone in Brazil was hacking our account. So like with all the frustration, that's a pretty funny story. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So if you're ever watching Netflix and all of a sudden it changes to a different language and then you think you got it all, like you think, oh, maybe I like hit something wrong. I don't know how I did it, but like whatever, I might've hit a button, but then every day it changes back. Like even if it just changes back once, you probably been hacked. You probably need to contact Netflix and change all your crap <laughs> before it drives you crazy for two weeks and you think you're just not doing something right. So anyway, that was my little story time for today about how my Netflix was hacked via my email by someone in Brazil who wanted to like watch my stuff in Portuguese. <laughs> anyway, I will be back later um, with some other kind of video. I don't know what video I'll do next. Um, I'm trying to feel better in my arm. Like um, it is feeling a lot better but then it's like kind of like a false sense of better too because it's still not all the way better. So then I'll like forget for a minute because it's feeling better and I'll start doing things with it. And then it's like, ah, oh, ow, like, and then it starts hurting the rest of the day. And at this point, I'm almost out of the pain pills the doctor gave me and I don't even know if they'll refill them or not. But I've been taking like ibuprofen too. So like who knows? Um... I am noticing, because I have carpal tunnel in this hand too, and my mom said that I should notice a difference, that even though this is in surgery pain, I should notice that it's not the same pain, and I didn't know what she's talking about till this morning when I woke up in the carpal tunnel and this hand was bothering me really bad and all this, this one was hurting because of surgery, it wasn't the carpal tunnel pain, so I finally get what she meant by that, so... I don't know, at my two week post-op, then we'll discuss doing this hand. And that one should be easier because since this is my non-dominant hand, as long as I have this hand to use, I should be fine. Anyway, now I'm rambling about something totally outside of my story time. So um, I will be back with you guys at a later time. I hope you're all have a great day and I'll see you later.